Stomach cancer is a very common disease worldwide. Almost a million people a year get stomach cancer. Although in the United States, it's not so prevalent. Maybe 20, 25,000 patients a year get it. So patients with stomach cancer um, may find it difficult to find physicians who've treated a lot of stomach cancer patients. Um, it's important because there's been a lot of advances in stomach cancer recently. We, uh, there is a new drug called Herceptin or Trastuzumab that's available for patients who have stomach cancer that overexpresses HER2, which is a protein on about 20% of stomach cancers. Recently, patients with stomach cancer also, it's been proven that they would benefit from treatment after the first line treatment. So what I mean by that is that if you have stomach cancer and you start chemotherapy for advanced disease, at some point, for most patients unfortunately, the cancer will develop resistance and will start to grow. In the United States, maybe only 30% of patients receive additional treatment after that first line, but that's wrong. We know that now. There's been a clinical trial that's definitively shown that these patients receive benefit if they receive more chemotherapy. And we have many trials in stomach cancer, especially in that second line setting, uh, to give patients more options and to understand better how to treat this disease. Although stomach cancer is a common disease worldwide, with almost a million people a year worldwide getting the disease, it's not so common in the United States. There are a few specialty centers that focus on stomach cancer as a research area. And often these centers offer clinical trials that um, may give patients more options. Here at New York Presbyterian Hospital, we have an active program in stomach cancer with clinical trials in both the first line setting and in the second and third line setting. And this is important because it was recently proven that patients with stomach cancer receive benefit if they get more therapy after the first line.